And now to new developments out of San Bruno, where police say a woman opened fire at the headquarters of YouTube earlier today. Tonight we have learned the identity of the shooter. She is 39-year-old Nassim Agdam, an animal rights activist and disgruntled video maker. On her website, she rails against YouTube for taking down some of her videos and for skimping on traffic revenue. Mountain View police say they found Agnam sleeping in a car in a Mountain View parking lot this morning. Her family says they warned police she might go to YouTube. Here is a closer look at where the shooting happened. The YouTube campus is located south of San Francisco between Highway 101 and 280. Police say the shooter opened fire with a handgun in a courtyard. Action News reporter Sierra Starks has the very latest from San Bruno. NBC News has confirmed the suspected shooter has been named as Nassim Najafi Agdam, who police say after shooting three people here at YouTube headquarters, then shot and killed herself. I encountered a, a girl running from the street to me. I grabbed her and told the people inside the, uh, the Carl Jr. put her inside the Put, put, open the door, open the door, put, put her inside the building. Police got the call of an active shooter just after 1230 Tuesday afternoon at the YouTube headquarters in San Bruno and arrived within minutes. They identified one victim at the front door, main entrance of the building. Two other victims were found with gunshot wounds at a nearby business where they had taken cover. All three were taken to the hospital. We heard gunshots, but it was really close to me because I could feel the, the, the power of the, gun, of, the, of the gun being, the weapon being used in this, in this murder situation. Police say the shooting appears to have occurred in a courtyard area of the building where many employees were having lunch. That's where authorities found the suspected shooter's body. We are an incredibly tight-knit um, uh, community uh, within YouTube and where it feels like a family. Today, it feels like the entire uh, community of YouTube and, and all of the employees uh, uh, were victims of this crime. Police believe the suspected shooter acted alone, but they also believe that it may have been a domestic dispute that led to the incident here. Reporting in San Bruno, Sierra Starks, KSBW Action News 8. Sierra, thank you. The San Bruno police chief says he expects investigators to stay at the scene at YouTube headquarters at least through the night.